Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video of Mike's Geek Corner with your host, Mike Quevedo. Today we're going to do something called the Pop Culture Spotlight. And these are going to be segments in which we're going to talk about either uh, it'll be a writer or a character from the old pulp magazines. And for this first installment, which is going to be a two-parter, we're going to talk about none other than Robert E. Howard's outcast warrior king, Cole. Now, who is Cole? Well, before uh, Robert E. Howard would uh, grace us all with his uh, very badass barbarian, Conan of Sumeria, well, three years earlier, he introduced um, Cole in 1929 in the pulp magazine Weird Tales in the story The Shadow Kingdom. Uh, Cole's stories and Conan's stories actually take place in the same universe, although Cole's adventures um, take place in a preceding era to Conan's. Uh, Conan's age is known as a Hyborian age, and Cole's uh, era is known as a pre-cataclysmic age. And um, the the Sumerians, the race to which Conan belongs to, are actually um, they are the descendants of Atlanteans, the race to which Cole hails from. So badassery runs in the family. Nice. So now in the pre-cataclysmic age, um, these are the following kingdoms that are established in that world. There are the kingdoms of Camellia, Balusia, Rondar, Thul. Camorra, and then there are other kingdoms of uh, different older races. Then there are the different uh, barbarian tribes. There are the Picts, who lived on the islands out in the Western Ocean. And then there are the Atlanteans, who worshipped the god Balka. And they inhabited a small continent uh, between the Pictish I islands and the Thurian continent. And then there are the Lemurians, who dwelt in large, island in large islands on the Eastern Hemisphere. As Robert Howard tells us in the segment called Exile of Atlantis, Cole was born in pre-sunken Atlantis in 100,000 BC into a barbarian tribe in the Tiger Valley of Atlantis. Then, however, the valley and tribe were destroyed by a great flood, and the infant Cole was to be raised by tigers in the wilds as a feral child. After many years, Cole is found and adapted by the Sea Mountain tribe. As he reaches his teens, however, he's exiled from Atlantis for intervening in a sacrifice involving a woman. After he escapes, he is captured by the Lemurian pirates, and he is forced to work as the galley slave for more than a year. But then a mutiny occurs, and this allows him the chance for freedom. Cole becomes a pirate in his late teens. He becomes a captain of his own vessel, and he becomes feared in the waters of Atlantis and Thuria. However, his life as a reaver is ended when the Belutians capture him. They offer him the choice of becoming either a gladiator or execution. He chooses the former. In the gladiator arena, he becomes a force to be reckoned with, and admirers aid on his freedom eventually. He then becomes a mercenary in his 30s, and then promoted to general by the Volusian king, Borna. Volusian noblemen, however, become weary of Borna's tyrannical rule. And this leads to a plot which ends with Cole slaying Borna and Cole getting enthroned as the new king of Volusia. And this will end this first installment of the Pulp Culture Spotlight featuring Cole. Be on the lookout for the next video in which we'll cover Cole's adventures after he becomes king, in which he has to defend his throne from noblemen and cutthroats and supernatural forces who plan to dethrone him. So if you like this video, give it a like. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.